Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. It's all about racing. In this episode, we're going to take a look at, well, you guessed it, a 124 scale replica of the number three Monte Carlo, that of Dale Earnhardt Sr. Now, Dale Earnhardt raced from 1975 until his death in 2001. He is most noted for his Richard Childress, number three, Chevrolet Monte Carlo, the one that you are looking at right now, right here. That GM Goodrich car that he was so famous for. Such a mean-looking car, too. His aggressive driving style has earned the nicknames of The Intimidator, The Man in Black, and Ironhead. Ironhead. I didn't know that one. Well, Dale Hart Sr. was killed in the last lap of the 2001 Daytona 500 when he was just 49 years old. I guess that's kind of old, you know, for a racing driver, so we don't know how many good years he had behind him, but uh, he was the seven-time NASCAR uh, Winston Cup champion with titles in 1980, 1986, 1987, 1990, 1991, and 1993. Oh my God, that's a bunch. <laughs> Which ties him for both Richard Petty and Jimmy Johnson with seven titles each. He was named one of NASCAR's 50 greatest drivers in 1998 and inducted in the NASCAR Hall of Fame in 2010. Now this car, well not this car, but over his Winston Cup career... He ran in 660, 676 races over 27 years. That's a bunch. He had 76 wins, 428 top 10s, and 22 poles. In the NASCAR Xfinity Series, he ran 136 races over 13 years with 21 wins, 75 top 10s, and 7 poles. The best finish of 21st in 1982. Obviously, his career was in the Winston Cup Series, or whatever the heck they call it these days. But this is a look at that number three car. This is from the folks at Action. This is his number three GM Goodrich car. Now, Action is probably not the best quality or the most detailed cars, you know, back in this time in 2000 when this car was actually built. But it's still a good quality car. It is exceptional by today's standards. Interior details are just absolutely phenomenal. You know, in this, you take a look inside, you can see just about anything and everything. We'll take a look at the at the cab there, and you can see the stick shift, the fire extinguisher, the frameworks, the seat. Of course, Dale Earnhardt and that signature, which was so typical of his car. Good wrench number three. You know, black with orange accents, I think, is really, really cool. This is an exceptional car. Now, like all cars of the era, the hoods open up on these things. You get a good look at engine detail. It's really, as I scan around here, you're going to see this. It is quite good. Take a look under the hood. You see GM Goodwrench there. And I'll, actually, I'll lift this up for you so you can see it a little bit better. There you go. And we'll take another dive into the engine. And look at all the wire work and everything else you see in here. It's absolutely amazing the detail that they went to. Back in those days, and let's turn this around. They look at the engine that way. Really, really cool. Here's a look at the fuel cell. And the back of the car. And here's a look at the back. And this is probably what it looks like as the Intimidator pulls away from you. As he fades on into the distance. As he has just kicked your ass. There's another cool look into the interior of the car. Lots of stuff. Amazing work that they do. And of course, anybody who's watched NASCAR racing, you know what the underside of these cars look like since they turn on their sides, their backs, everything. Of course, the race, you can see just about everything here. Engine detail, transmission, radiator, fan, the wheels, suspension, the exhaust, the drive shafts, and the fuel cell. Well, folks, that's it. Hope you've enjoyed this and had a good look at the number three GM Goodwrench car, that of Dale Earnhardt Sr., the year 2000. Thanks for watching, folks. See you in the next episode.